All right, so Cypher of Tear has me all flummoxed over here. <laughs> uh, got me got me typing in the chat before um, <laughs> before even starting. So welcome, thanks for the follow. Go go follow Cipher of Tear if you're into like um, D and D and like RPGs and all kinds of often awesome stuff. I'm like totally like, I'm like fanboying over here like. <laughs> All right, I'll stop that now so I'm not embarrassing myself. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm a little uh, little caught off guard there. As you can tell, I need a recombobulation. That was the, uh, the, the stream title today. I'm totally whacked out with last week's uh, launch, last week's spoke stuff. Uh, Andrew, hey, did the picks make it to you? Yeah, they made it to me. Um, Last night, I'm hopefully going to get to read them tonight and get it published tomorrow. Andrew wrote an article for the blog. Um, we're going to use uh, hopefully tomorrow um, about nibs and things like that. So let me catch up on here. Everyone doing okay? Tony, 26 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, Slumberland Studio, uh, well done. The spoke fountain pen. You got yours fast. You might have been the first to get yours. Because it's not it's not a it's not a far trip to ship from here. Uh, we'll talk about that launch. Talk about everything um, um, that went down with that and how how fun it was. No spoke until Friday. Brad is cutting out a lot. Uh, looks like just you. Uh, yeah, my my connection looks good right now. So yeah, I just. Um, Thank you all for supporting the Spoke launch last week. Um, it was pretty nuts in a good way, right? Like, um, it went exactly as I predicted it would go. Um, we only had 99 nibs, right? So we turned off the nib uh, orders 20 minutes into the launch, so that's how quick they went. And I still might have, you know, fumbled that a little bit. Um, the good news with that, it somehow, this is shockingly good news, our quotes and timings on nib replacements were accurate. So we got the feedback um, that the timing will be good for what we were thinking was early April. We had assumed that, we were told that, but it was never locked in because we hadn't paid, right? They were, you know, trying to shuffle, when's this going to come, when's that going to come? Um, so that prediction came true, which we're happy about. And we tripled our order from what we would normally, from what we were considering reordering. So everyone who ordered, thank you. Everyone who's received their pins and reached out to us, uh, thank you. Um... I'd love to hear some feedback um, once you get to use them a little bit. Uh, for those who are in the queue for backordered nibs, hang in there. Um, pens are ready. I'm going to start. I have eight more orders. I have eight more nibs to use today. So I'm going to finish that up, ship those. Um, and um, once we do that, I'll start pre-building all your other pens um, that we have coming in um in april so once the nibs arrive so i'll be able to ship them out pretty quickly so yeah it was uh it was good you'll hear me ramble about it on the podcast uh tomorrow so uh, me and mike will go into some details uh ended up getting purple with cyan have robert oster fire and ice nice get all the things only downside was the green sleeve didn't look exactly how i thought so now i need to get yet another new ink to match it perfectly so it's a little what i guess kate uh lighter on the green because the lime does come out a little bit light um it's not like a fluorescent green and it's not like kelly green it's a lime green but i would say it t leans a little light could even lean a little bit yellow yeah a little bit light a little bit yellow yeah that's how the lime and it is lime anodization is very very consistent and it generally comes out that exact color spring green it's a good color nay lunsford thank you for the sub appreciate you so much can't wait till the axle s comes out in purple yeah, so we'll have um, Katagame. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate you, Hells. Thanks for the bits. Let's go. Hells reminds me. 
Um, I have not shipped out last week's giveaway winners. I've been a little busy. <laughs> They're sitting in the shipping department. So uh, we do not use the same energizer as shown, but we will use the same energizer as shown if we are going to do some of that work, um, some of the more wilder work, which we might, we might do that um, one of these days. Tony ran out of note cards because I owe him a pack of note cards. That's why he's not just saying that for y'all's benefit. Of course, Tony never says anything just for the general benefit. He says that to take a shot at me. So, uh, yeah. Got your Kickstarter and the ink. Yeah, that's what reminded me. I need to send out last week's giveaway stuff. Um, we'll do more giveaway stuff today. Um, Slumberland Studio, don't be nice to Tony. Don't be nice to Tony. He doesn't deserve that. Although it was a great review. Um, got a lot of great feedback on that. Even Tony, I think, was happy with it, you know. So, you know, that's that's all we can expect. That's all we want. So, there you go. Yeah, he went through a 250 pack, what, less than a month? 250 pack of cards, less than a month, I'd say. So, something like that. Good stuff. Brooks. There we go. Had to update Twitch. Couldn't see chat. Other people will see in delays today, so I don't know if there were some updates y'all had to go through. Brooks got a present for you. You probably already know what it is because you're probably on the same list that we are for nibs. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a, a large number. I think my wrist will be able to take the nib disassembly this time. You know what I can't take? This is getting way TMI. But you know what doesn't work? Pencils Plus. Thank you for the gift sub. You're awesome. Amazing. Claire, thanks for the gift sub. Hope you're doing awesome. I'll be speaking to another former Torontonian this week. Torontonian? Torontonian? For this week's uh, podcast friend of the show. Huge just plastic. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Brad has ordered 250 million nibs and will achieve world domination. Um, I could probably do something to that effect. You know, if I had 250 nibs, we could come up with some some things sailor pro gear habanero i think i want to save that talk for the podcast so i'm not going to comment on the sailor pro gear habanero because i will talk too long and y'all have to hear it all again tomorrow and i think that's a good topic for mike and i to kind of hash out tomorrow it's spicy our takes will be spicy so that's already the show title for tomorrow when we do the podcast so I can't picture a world where you don't have that pin. Just point out the pepper finial is not a habanero. Is it more of a jalapeno? I mean, it looked like the standard like curvy shape. What's I'm not a a, a pepper uh, pepper guy. So what is the shape? Is it just a regular jalapeno or some other kind of pepper? More of a jalapeno shape. I mean, because a habanero would just be like this this amoeba looking thing on there, right? It not, aren't the haban habaneros more? Like a rounded, apricot looking, just kind of a splat. Like if we're doing that in there. More boxy, yeah. Oh, so what I was going to say with when... So Jonathan Brooks803 does our nib etchings, right? So he did an awesome job on this first batch. But I couldn't get the nibs apart because my wrist, I'm still recuperating. Um, generic pepper, I think it's the right call. I agree. The habanero wouldn't have looked good on there. So... That was a challenge, and now, like, I'm inspecting all the nibs before I ship them out in the pens, and, you know, I'm, like, trying to not poke my eye out. I've got, you know, my little loop, and I'm up in here, I'm up in here, like, doing all the things and jamming it in there, and then if I start to, like, modify the nib at all, my fingernails can't handle that. Like, I, this wasn't supposed to be, like, Manny Petty chat today, but my fingernails are weak. Like, I have, okay, I can grow nails, right, but they're weak. Right, the, I, I, I would not be a good nibmeister. So welcome to all of y'all into Manny Petty Chat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that entry right into me talking about my fingers. So maybe I just need to go get a manicure and get like strengthener like coating on there, especially my thumbs. My thumbs are torn up just from trying to manipulate that little space. So I would not be a good nibmeister. So that was spoke launch not kickstarter i'm less than 100 i will never get your names right because i want to flip that middle of it 
I want to put that U after the K. Rukesa. I'm gonna. Can I go with that? Rukesa. It's tough. Smoothies that make hard nails. Yeah, finger exercises, eye eye exercises, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Talk to Dr. Madison about the right strength or coding. Yeah, she would totally have it. She's got it down. Brooks, five guest subs. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Like I would do nail polish if it was a if it, if there was a strengthener on my nib. Jesse, where have you been? Are you have you been snowed in? I think you've been snowed in. We'll talk about nails if I want to talk about nails. I I keep breaking my nails managing nibs, so I think that's a valid conversation. I could pronounce Tony. Hells more bits. Brooks five gift subs. Y'all are awesome. Only two and a half feet of snow. Sick. Is Becky here yet? Her dog walking pictures were amazing. Ree Wizzle's dog walking pictures. If y'all haven't seen those, she wasn't joking. Like, the snow would be over her dog's ears. It's like a foot over her dog's ears. Like, legit. Hells with the bits. I said that already, I think. Sally Hansen nail hardener from the store for like five. I would put that on my thumbnails. Just clear nail polish would strengthen it up. Oh, Jammer, Kickstarter cases arrived in Australia last week. Very nice, above and beyond expectations. Thank you. I am very, very happy with how those turned out. Jesse, 20 months of subbing. Thank you so much. Level 4 hype train. Man, Tuesday morning's popping off. Crazy. Uh, two years from now, when Brad is a beauty streamer, we can point to this stream as the origin point. I mean, like, I have no issue painting my nails, like, whatsoever. Like, if I'm going to do it, I mean, I might as well do something cool, right? So, like, my my thumbs are just snapped. I got another broken nail right here. Just from all this shipping and boxing and packing, my nails are just weak. Miss G's Crafties, happy Tuesday. Urushi Nails. When I go visit Brooks, I don't know, that might be a little reactive, I don't have the time to sit and let it cure. <laughs> I don't have I don't have thirty days for curing. That might not work so well. Yeah, exactly. I was allergic to poison ivy when I was a kid, but the pins don't uh, affect me at all. Oh, hang on, sorry, I messed up a thing. That was a little bright. So, um, one of the things we're gonna do today: Schmevelin five gift subs. What is happening? Y'all are too kind. Y'all are amazing. We are cranking this morning, y'all. So about five minutes before this stream started today was the calmest I've been in probably a week, right? Just knowing what's directly in front of me is getting to come on here, hang out with y'all, talk to y'all, and just kind of recalibrate what's going on that's why that's why i put the the stream title today just the recombobulation cypher of tear thank you for the host yeah i'm serious y'all if y'all are into like fantasy games role playing dungeons and dragons um follow cypher of tear like literally you can stop this stream to go click on her name drop some follows on her so you see when she goes live and she does a lot of story a lot of storytelling she does a lot of uh black lives matter content um she does a lot of you know um a lot of content in that space to try to get black creators uplifted which y'all know is something i believe in very much so please please go follow her and uh, everything that she does so uh, we all got stimulus money <laughs> I guess I didn't even think of it. Naughty Zoot. Five gift subs. What is happening? Amazing. Y'all are awesome. Alan. You know, I had it together before we started this stream today. Alan, thank you very much. 
Really, really, really thank you. Happy Tuesday. Jerrica. Libraestet. Hey, Naughty Zood, happy birthday to everyone. Once that hype train starts chugging, yeah. <laughs> this is definitely the highest percentage hype train we've got. Uh, we've hit the fives, but this is ridiculous, y'all. I, I I can't thank you enough. Um, we're going to get those emotes, too, now that I see the pin emotes popping off. Um, we'll, we, we have... Uh, we have Angela lined up for when she's done with school to get those get those emotes. Actually, when we get to partner, hopefully we'll get to partner one of these years. Um, we'll just bang out tons of emotes, so it'll be good. So, oh man, after all this, my cheers aren't all the blinging. Did I did I turn it on right after the last one blinged? <laughs> the cheerleaders stopped. Rip. What's the opinion on the habanero per gear in these parts? I'll let the chat handle that question. I'm going to take that question on the podcast tomorrow. I want to save that. That's one thing. I don't usually save topics. We'll cover them here and cover them there. I want my ideas to come out there first um, because of Mike. And like Mike and I will not discuss this before the show tomorrow. So we want to, um, we want to discuss that um, live tomorrow. Had a no idea a channel for pins is around. This is all pins all the time. We're gonna, what I haven't gotten to, orange is evil. What, I will, I'll give you one thing on this. I'm shocked at how many people like the orange. So I'm gonna leave my commentary at that. So we will, I'm gonna reserve my full discussion on that. For tomorrow but i mean just look at the emote and the logo and the shirt and the shoes so we'll have the full conversation tomorrow people liking orange as a result of brad's super influencer vibes totally totally so yeah if you didn't know this podcast this podcast this uh stream was about pins it is about pins. shoes what shoes i have the most lit orange shoes on today they're from a, a shop in LA, and I've been wanting these shoes for a couple of years since they came out, but they were too expensive. And then they dropped them like a third of the price. So I am a plant for Big Orange. I'll show you the shoes. I'll show you the shoes. I'm just I'm just selling them real quick. So from a, a store called Sneakers and Stuff, for some reason they went from like three hundred dollars, which I wasn't gonna pay, to like one hundred dollars, and it was like insta click. <clears throat> Show the shoes, yoga time. I am wearing uh, uh, shorts and short uh, short socks today, so you know. Let's see if we can do this today. So these are Adidas 4D. Woo! Oh, you can't really see them here. Let's just do it this way. So these are those are my habanero shoes. So yeah, they're very orange. That was much better than lifting my leg up. They totally match the pen. <laughs> yeah, so they came out like two years ago, and I wanted them really bad, so they were always like on my shopping list. It's just like a pen shopping list, right? You don't have to jump. Like if you're not like dedicated, like totally like must have, right? It was like a $300 pair of shoes. I wasn't going to pay that. And then I, I saw on a message board, someone said, wow, these got dropped to $100. And I was like, click. That was it. That was it. So yeah, we are going to do some pin stuff today. So I have two things to unbox. We have my uh, CW pencils, last final maybe box, which may or may not be pencils according to people in the chat here. $20 orange converse. I would totally rock those. How do you also have time for sticker message boards? I don't, I'm not on them that much. Get on my weird colored shoes from the New Balance outfit, outlet. New Balance is awesome, especially like where you're at. You might get like some of the, some of the good stuff. It is the last box that has no pencil. See, Tony's ruining everything. So we're going to do that. But it makes sense when we talk about it. Secondly, I have my Staples PR box, right? We talked about that last, last week. Um, 
and I sent him an email. And let me see. I just sent it this morning because I want to unbox. I have to unbox this today um, just because we're going to have a call about what's in it. But I don't know if I can show them if I'm embargoed or whatever. So let me, uh, I sent him an email. Let me see if he sent anything. Good Lord. That's, I haven't checked my email today. That was a mistake. Here it is. Call before review. So, do you want me to call him like while we're live, and then I can unbox it? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Ain't nobody got time for me to sit on mute while I have a call with someone who just wants to advertise. Oh, I do have some good email in here though from. Uh, my friend Daryl Masubi. This is this is Brad. Brad works on his his email here. Um, yeah, your Masubi order is on the way. All right. Yeah, call him now. <laughs> Tell him he's got a one time chance to be super influencing. Yeah, he said he doesn't mind if I share it when I open it, but we need to discuss it first. And that's fair. Like if you're putting out a product. Uh, we are gonna give Daryl plenty um, once I get this. Once I get the Cosmo Air lights in, did anything go anywhere with the email I sent you? Yes, dust collected on it because it's just gonna sit there until I actually have time to proceed with that. It's not high on the list, <clears throat> but it's it's a thing. It's on the list, right? It's just not beating shipping and and all that other stuff right now to spend time on because I did like I've got two other like hot items that I'm making right now. So, all right. So how crazy did you go with Masubi? Um, Daryl's sending me two. <laughs> hey, I'm already ahead of the Twitch curve. I address envelopes on stream. That's really, really how you do it. All right, let's open this box because it's been sitting here for well over a week. All right. So this is the final CW Pencil Enterprises. What did they call these? Pencil box? Uh, quarterly pencil box? I think it was just the name of it. This was when they were CWPE. But now they're not CWPE anymore. What do they is did their name officially change? I'm going to always call them CWPE. But the shop has been reconfigured. <clears throat> Can I just say, Brad, these chats in this community inspires me, help me believe in humanity and kindness. Uh, I mean, amen to that. Like, I, I can't speak about that enough, about this entire community um, and everything. It's it's pretty amazing. Rich Sticks, 21 months of subbing, no alerting, so you get a special cheer. Stupid alerts. The alerts box is the bane of my existence on this stream. Let's go. Um, what are they now? They are now a full service stationer instead of simply a pencil shop, right? Don't think their name changed. Have you been to the reopening, Boy Reporter? So if y'all don't know, CWPE, they were hit pretty hard um, during the pandemic being a brick and mortar in New York City and being small right so they uh paper cat lady 17 months of seven let's go um oh you threw some photos in from one of the slack channels so um boy reporter maybe we'll talk about that um ron's gonna be on front of the show wednesday night we'll talk about cwp but they basically shut down for a couple months to rebuild the same space and the same brand, but as a full service, carry all the stationary items, not simply pencils and pencil adjacent accessories. So it's gonna be a full like neighborhood stationer, right? And then next month, their online shop will be back on, which I can't wait for because I want those notebooks that y'all all talk about. What are those Portuguese notebooks that I want? 
it's like with the initials they're really pretty like marbled covers colors covers emilio braga yeah i thought it was like i knew it was e something but i thought it was like an initial all right greetings from the lower east side i guess they i wonder who made this does it say who made this all right so the last pencil box as we say far, farewell to our subscription box, we're thrilled to share some of our new non-pencil items with you. So that's going to be the new, um, the new story behind CWP is going to be a general stationer. Um, we're going to go over the products in a second. I want to see who did the artwork. Art by Jade Lowe sold us a postcard in our shop. Okay, so they sell this, they sell this as a postcard in the shop. That's cool. Love it. All right. We know what this is. If you're going to launch, if you're going to relaunch your uh, your brand, you're going to stock the, uh, the Pentel Touch. This is the OG sign pen. This is just one of those classic, classic pens that everyone should have. So it's got your standard like kind of fibery brush tip. I'm trying to see what color this is. It's like a dusty blue. But this sky blue. Okay. So yeah, this is one. Ooh, it's brighter than the barrel. This is like uh Conpecky blue. Dang. The outside does not represent the inside color of this pen whatsoever. <laughs> raffle. <laughs> you want me to raffle this pen? I probably have another one. I'll raffle it. That is crazy. Like this looks like a standard old like dusty blue, kind of blue gray. This is like sky high sailor pilot con pecky. Do y'all want this pen? All right, let me read what they say about it, because this is a classic. Pentel sign pen was first introduced in 1963 and was popularized by Lyndon B. Johnson, who preferred it for signing things. This is a the touch sign pen, which features a brush tip. Great for addressing envelopes. They've been watching the stream. Look, it says it right there. What did I just say? Great for addressing envelopes. Thieves. That was That's my jam, Caroline. Alex, that's my bit. But that's what I use them for, addressing envelopes. <laughs> that's pretty funny. It's pretty, pretty funny. All right, great color. Great color. I'm not going to give away this pen. We got to give away more than that. All right, what's this? Anyone know what this is? I mean, you know, this this looks like a, like a piece of like a scotch tape roll or something. Anyone know what this is? Oh, it's got a 12 on it. I don't know what that means. Product I can't read. Nichiban. If you're going to be an influencer, you can't complain when people copy you. Yeah, but you can joke about it. It's fun. Oh, look, I was right. It's literal tape. What is the story? See, this is the thing that CWP does so well is they tell stories about simple items like Nichiban tape. Where is it? Nichiban cellulose tape, Japan's answer to scotch tape. This classic is made out of wood pulp cellulose and natural rubber. So we will use this in the shipping department because I have my large packing tape dispenser and then i have my small scotch tape dispenser so you better believe that this will go straight on the roll we will test out the nichiban tape don't think that i won't probably 12 meters of tape yeah that makes sense so yeah i honestly it looked like tape i didn't think it was going to be tape when it came out of here but it is oh 12 millimeters by 13 meters so it's the width so the 12 is the width then it's 13 meters long. There you go. All right, so that's that's the two of the final countdown. Oh, classic. 
Wait a minute. All right, man. We can do this now. All right. White out. Correction fluid. It doesn't smell. There's no scent to it. So don't do that. Uh, redo collect correction fluid. For all the pens, we'll be selling water-based so it's safe to sniff. And made by Skillcraft, who employ members of the blind community. I am way ahead of the marketing game they have going on here. I don't know what you're doing, Caroline. I'm so far ahead of your marketing game, it's not even funny. Go Skillcraft. Yeah, if y'all don't shop at Skillcraft, grab a dozen ballpoint pens. They hire uh, disabled folks, and they have government contracts, and they make stationery and pens. Um, and yeah, just go look up Skillcraft's story. Um, I've shared it before. It's awesome. Uh-oh, Hell's random question, is your current Uniball 1 gel pen giveaway supposed to be 30 days long? No, <laughs> that's what I get for doing it right before I stream. Um, I did it like an hour ago. I will correct that um, on the back end and I'll just shorten the time frame. So it'll end on, um, on Friday like normal. Thank you for catching that. I wouldn't have caught that until someone told me. Or I would have caught that um, Saturday morning when I go to pick the winner. That I was like, whoops, and I just have to kill it. So there you go. So let's test this whiteout. What good is a whiteout if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't doesn't smell? Let's see. Should I? Let me do a, a pen thing. Do we have a pen here? Do we have a pen? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> this is Karen. Oops. Eight forty-eight. It's not an eight forty-eight. It's an eight forty-nine. Man, let's white it out. Sharpies don't smell much anymore. That's a mess. Rewizzles. Twenty-two months of something. It's not an eight forty-eight. It's an eight forty-nine. Dude, smells a little bit. Great stream today. <laughs> It's because I'm the most relaxed and loose I've been probably since we streamed last week. And I wasn't even relaxed and loose then because I was stressed out about all the stuff that I had to uh, sell and package. I've used that kind of whiteout forever. I've never seen it. Redo correction fluid. Is it dry? That's the thing is you can't see if these things are dry. You know, it, the worst with whiteout was when you had like a little bubble in it. And you're like, oh, it's dry. Then you're writing your correction. Then you go right in the bubble part. And then, then you get white out on your pen tip and you've ruined the thing. And then you're just throwing the whole paper out anyway. So we'll test it. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to write right through this. <laughs> I might have put it on too heavy. All right, we'll let that dry for a minute. We'll see what else is in here. What else is in here? All right, push pins. You got to have push pins in your office. Um, that's why you need erasable ball points? No. We love using map tacks in our shop and found these from Japan to replace our beloved Moorish push pin co ones rip. So I guess Moore is out of business. So I like these. I need to stick more stuff on the walls. Those paper made eraser mates are one of the worst pins ever made. I go away for one minute and Brad is dissing Caroline. Caroline is one of my favorite people in this world. I will never diss, diss Caroline. She knows that. You know that. We just like to have fun though. So yeah, these go to the shipping department with the tape. Those go to the shipping department. All right, let's try this now because no one's going to wait around that long. Hey, 849. There you go. Boom. Corrected. Oh, I totally used the crap out of eraser mates. They were just terrible. Did you get all this spoke fountain pen shipped? So I have eight more medium nibs I'm going to use to ship. And then we're going to be back ordered until April. So depending on where your order got in, uh, Julie, you can email me, let me know, and I can kind of give you a guideline. But if it doesn't get out today, it's going to be April, but the uh, nibs are on the way. The quality of the eraser mates, it was all in the eraser, right? The eraser was the problem, right? The pen is fine if you never erased it. All right, what's next? Look at this guy. It's like a little baby right in the rain. 
right in the rain tiny notebook pocket size water resistant paper and it's made in america yeah so this would fit in the Tallulah. hashtag always be selling and it's it's perforated and it feels like it's got like a like a durable cover too like this would fit in the Tallulah pin case slot i don't have it but you can see how small it is here like there's the lookout That would totally fit in the Tallulah. I need to look at those. That looks like the size of our uh, petite index cards that are out of stock forever. Rip. All right, this stuff's getting in my way now. All right, we got this, 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 this. We are setting up an office. Does that mean that you aren't getting more petites? No, it means I'm working on finding a new printer that re won't return my calls and then I get busy with other projects and then I stop I stop wor working with it. It's actually a little smaller than the Tallulah Pocket. I mean, that's just good, right? Hey, good morning, Odd Copy. I have a Tallulah with the Velcro tag. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. All right. Twiggy curved blade scissors. So I use a different pair of pen scissors, but these are always handy. Um, I forget I forget the brand that I use, but I got them because they were pastel colors, like purple and green and stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is by Plus. Um, the new owner's of sailor there you go plus how did you not know this is a thing yeah i forget the brand that i use they're sitting on my desk and the other and the other thing so they you store them just like a pin then you break them out and then like the one side comes out blades flip out it's like what are those what are those flippy knives where you do like this thing so these are sailor scissors we made an all velcro uh in the shop one day just goofing off So from the knock shop direct butterfly knives. Yeah, I guess I don't know what those are called. All right. Oh, let me, I'm going to read about it. Twiggy scissors, a CW favorite TSA friendly travel scissors that slip into a pencil case. There you go. All right. Is this the last thing? Ooh, these are cool. Firm, firm and goalie Zenith corner clips. Just made it, yeah, office supply. So this is CW Pencil Enterprises last stationary box. Oh, these are great size. So it's like a smaller size clip. But it's really cool. I like the uh, just the corner style as opposed to the standard clip. Firm and Golly Corner Clips. We love sharing many of our paper, favorite paper clips with you over the years. Here's a full box by Zenith designed to allow easy page turning. Did we get everything? I think we got everything. All right. Let's give the whole box away to someone. What do we think about that? Let's just give... I'm going to put it all back in here. And then y'all are going to... Y'all are going to... Uh, we'll just raffle the whole thing off. It's got a box already. Everything. Let's just do that. Let's have some fun today. I'm in a good mood. Yeah, that just hit me. It was like Alan, like what I was saying, I could just give away this pen. Like the pen's not enough. I'll just give you all the whole thing. It's cool by me. Let's do it. Yeah, this will be easy to ship. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it all in the box, everything. <laughs> all right, let me, uh, let me re, odd copy two months of subbing. Thank you so much. So this is the uh, this is the full the full boat here. So, um, oh, I I turned it off, but you also get CWPE pencil shavings. That's what I call these. Just figured out the priming prime gaming sub. It is. I will admit, it is not the easiest thing to do from the front end. Once it's once you're synced up, it's good to go. But you do have to jump through. You know, go through this. Uh, thanks to Critical Role for the explainer. <laughs> awesome. 
All right. Um, let's do it. I don't know when I'm going to ship this. I still have to ship last week's stuff. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Clear this off. Um, CWPE. CWPE. All right. Uh, two minutes. Let's go. Let's do this. What else are we going to do today, right? Let's give stuff away. I have so much stuff to give away. Subbing is weirdly a big hassle on mobile. Mobile's 50 times worst. 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 That's what my grandmother used to say. Worst. My favorite grandmother word. You Southerners might know this. Rurnt. Y'all know what rurnt means? That's the favorite word ever from my grandmother. Italianate's got it. If you're in the South, you definitely know it. Yeah, it means ruined. I spilled gravy on my shirt, now it's rurnt. <laughs> that's my favorite word yep you mentioned twitch partner earlier but you have to stream more days to get it yes viewership requirement we've got now um i need to add in that's why i've been talking about adding in another day if i add in one more day per week at this amount of time i'll make it i just got to figure it out yalv yeah yalv is a that's a rough one yeah but weren't is my favorite idea and my my grandmother also said earl put a little earl in the skillet worse she was a worser too yep i need to wash i need to wash the earl out of my shirt so it's not rent water <laughs> Pages. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Entries have stopped. Pick a winner. Where is that? Auburn fan 99. You have one. Speak up in chat or forever hold your peace. And email me. Yay. Awesome. This is a cool, this is a cool giveaway. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I didn't even consider giving it away until y'all started talking about it. That's how y'all get me. You start talking about this stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's just give it away. <laughs> the way you Southerners butcher the English language hurts my heart. Eh, I think it's cute. Especially Rurnt. Like, how even do you spell Rurnt? R-U-R-N-T. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Auburn fan. Email me your shipping address. War Eagle. War CWPE. War Coffee. Anyone know what that's from? That's actually probably one of those times I'm embarrassed to admit I know where that's from. And used to do that. All right, good stuff. All right, so we're gonna do some more giveaways because Lord knows I need more things to ship. But I just like doing it and I don't need this stuff, so. All right, so I'm gonna tease y'all and maybe we'll do it uh, Thursday. LSU fans shouldn't say that. Yeah, it was a joke uh, on the war thing. Yeah, if I had a second favorite team, though, it's probably Auburn, even ahead of Georgia. And I live in Georgia. Can you confirm e email address for AuburnFan99? Oh, hello at penaddict.com. Thank you. That was a great use of the highlighted message. <laughs> it's because you can't ship spoke yet. Is Phil dogging me out up here? <laughs> 
Roll Tide. That's the worst. Patrick, I thought you used to think highly of you. What's up? Five months of sub, appreciate it. This is a silly use of the highlighted message. So I'll probably ship. I'll probably ship all the uh, giveaway stuff tomorrow. I think. Anything UGA is the worst. Like I'm fine with UGA, but I, only because it's like I almost have no choice. All right. Next up, Staples box. Ugh. Psych. I'm not gonna open it, but I dropped it on here. Because when I picked it up to bring it in here, I noticed how heavy it was. This is five pounds and 40 ounces of a box I can't open today. But I will make the phone call today. And then uh, we'll go through it on Thursday. Um, and see what's in it. Maybe it'll give me a chance to test it. So I won't. it won't necessarily be like a wide open thing. But like, we'll see. We'll see. I like to follow the rules. I'm a rules follower. So, um, all right, let's see. Let me see if I can uh, call today. We're not going to do the call. I'm going to set up the call for this afternoon, though. Here I am, businessing, business bratting. But I'm tired. I want to open this box. Should I open it and not show y'all, so I know what I'm talking about later, and just go ooh? We need to do some ink drop betting. Maybe we'll do some ink drop betting on. Uh... <laughs> you just need to wait until get in the get in on the misspelling bets. Um, and like definitely bet against me <laughs> and you'll probably win some bit, some ink drops. We haven't really done, uh, anything. <sighs> I was loud. Genie, nah, five gifted subs. Genie, you're so awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Good grief, y'all. Goodness, grief. Let me lighten up the brief. Wow. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Ink drop shaving scandal. It could happen. If we could get some stuff going, it could happen. Bork and Bork, what is... Is that like the modify the emote thing? Amazing, y'all. All right. Um, right. I'm opening this box. I'm going to peek in it. I'm sorry. This is going to be really mean. But if I'm setting up a call at 1 o'clock today, I'm peeking. I'm peeking. That was something. I finally got back to my laptop. Yeah, you can't do anything on mobile. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> Who said that I was just going to go, like, ooh. <laughs> Who said that? Someone said I was going to do it. No, don't be rude. Speaking of rude, uh, Thunder Viking, I think I'm missing one of the names for your orders. Brad, please share with the rest of the class. There's a letter in here. Y'all saw that. This is crazy. All right. Wow. Here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do. If this stuff is online already, I got to get this one thing out. If this stuff is online, I will share it. So I'm going to go look and see if it's online. 
And then I don't care what they say. It's online. It's online. I gotta say, uh, initial exterior looks are impressive. Stop the cheers. See, that's where I get in trouble. Stop the cheers. Alright. <laughs> Will and Cherry must be getting uh, tired. They are. That's why I have to let's go for them sometimes. Um, yeah, the temptation is too much. Only because this has been sitting here for a week. Retro 51 just did the new dog and cat rescues on Facebook. Cool. Those are generally some of the best ones they do. Okay, so it's just like the basic artwork so far. Those are generally some the cool ones they do every year for the dog and cat rescues. Those are pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to see if this is online, then I'm going to share it. If it's not, I'm not. Like, do I have, really have an early look, or is this something that exists already? Hmm. Let me see. Giveaway. No. I can't do that. This is like some no-joke stuff, though. OSU, thank you for the 12 months of subbing. We are going to do another giveaway, though, so hang tight as I figure out if this stuff exists yet. So the product line exists. I think these are new additions to it because, yeah, these aren't online yet. These aren't online yet, so there you go. All right, I got to hold the horses, y'all. Sorry. It was close, wasn't it? We almost did it. We almost did it, but this is not. Let me look in here. Let me see if there's pens. So I got like one, two, three notebook products that are all different. The biggest pen case you've ever seen. It's like an A4 size pen case. It's kind of dope. What does the letter say? I'll open it. 540 Productions, thank you for the follow. Um, set of pens, two sets of pens. Um, yeah, I think this is just a, a like round two or like a rebranding slash relaunch of something that they've started to do, but are now like mega leaning into it. Um, what does the letter say? Let's find out. Just do it, nobody watches this thing. Yeah, but I don't like to mess up relationships. Cool. He just said, um, looks forward to talking to me after I get to use the product. So we will hold to our word. We'll share these on uh, Thursday. I will, I have set up a call today to go over these. Sorry. Can't do it. Can't do it. If it was my own product, I'd like Brian. It's Staples, Staples brand. Um, and I'm dealing through their PR. So. I just want to do it right, so there you go. Um, we'll do them Thursday. Yeah, I just want to like I don't want to I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to I don't do things that people don't want me to do. It's as easy as that. Like I will. Um, yeah, it's notebooks and pens, but they look new. It's note. It's three different notebooks, two different pen types. The pen looks like it exists already. The notebooks don't look like they're on the website. <laughs> Me and my bank are having a fight on the website. Maybe you should donate them five subs. <laughs> Staples doesn't sell anything, no biggie. Some of the store brands, like uh, whoever does Tool, is it Office Depot with the Tool? So yeah, it's the true red stuff, but it's, it's nothing that's on the site. <laughs> So, like, I will I will ruin Brian's day or Mike's day by showing uh, um, by showing off stuff early, and I'll I'll accept getting in that trouble. I won't accept trouble. I don't like I don't do the things with advertisers early that they don't want to do, or do things with product launches that people want to do and things like that. So, your fat fingers did get modded. 
That is a deny. <laughs> All right. Um, we should do another giveaway. What do y'all think? Office Depot is tool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was just a mistake. So you just let it go and just block it and then just let it go. The other one, though, the other one was definitely like a uh, just a drive by from earlier. All right, let's give this away. Um, yeah, it, I don't even know what it was. It was random. It wasn't from an account I knew. Um, this is the fancy Rodeo pad. This is the R. As you can see, look at me. We can have uh, Inception here. There we go. All right, this is me telling you to watch me give away the Rodeo R pad. This is their premium writing pad. Sorry, that was a little loud. This is their premium writing pad. It's legitimately good. Um, you know, it's a balance on the price aspect of it, right? It's a little bit more than the, the standard. It You can tell the difference in quality, right? Like, I feel that they're pretty good. They're like, the their Rodeo's premium, premium is like other people's... Um, it's priced like other people's standard though, right? So um, so it's just the, uh, I think it's just the paper quality, right? They use a different uh, higher grade paper, I think for these. I don't know the, the specifics. Like Rhodia Base is premium compared. It's thicker and a little offer white. Yeah, so it's really nice. So there we go. We'll do this, then we'll do like a, a writing utensil of some kind. And then we'll probably wrap it and I need to go shipping. Probably not long streams this week. I don't know, maybe Thursday. Thursday we might can do something longer. All right. Rodeo R. And while y'all enter this, I'm going to grab a writing utensil and I'm gonna grab something to mark this <laughs> I just realized I had the uh Choo Choo Hype Book in my thing from the uh, Hype Train in my message field. So there you go. Have a Choo Choo Hype Book. All right. We're going in. We can almost put the things outside the box, inside the box. Now, my wife will be very happy with that. so much Lamy stuff in here. That wasn't Staples. That was Spam Risk. I told Staples 1 o'clock, not 11 o'clock. I never know if I'm accidentally exalting someone using this Twitch emotes. <laughs> Who knows? All right, we're going to give away a fountain pen next. I think it's been a little while since I've given away a fountain pen. Which one is this one? Prep work. Doesn't have a name on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know why I didn't review this one. <laughs> so, yeah, the Habanero Sailor. Namiki, Yukara, Royale, Vermilion. No, we need to go to Alan Shootko's house um, to pick up those pins, and then we'll give those away. And plus, I would have reviewed those. Pick winner. RDJ June. RDJ June, you have won.
So reply in the chat. We're going to Alan Shutko's house. He has all the Namikis. And then shoot me an email with your shipping address, hello at penanic.com. We'll get this out to you. Hopefully tomorrow. Which this will put me at like 10, <laughs> 10 giveaways. I'm sorry to all the last week's winners. It honestly didn't even register with me to um, to get those out. And I feel bad. I let you down. Um, before we give away the fountain pen, um, anything else I need to know for tomorrow's podcast? I feel like we are, tomorrow's podcast is going to be packed. Oh, you got your, um, got your membership last week. Awesome. I love this thing. I know, I mean, I know I made it, but I love this. Got my Hello Kitty Kaveco Sport and the short international converter that I use on my other sport doesn't fit, but their Kaveco cartridge fits. That's odd. That's a, that would surprise me. I don't know. I can't explain it. That is weird. That is weird. What else, y'all? What else are y'all working on? Y'all got anything? Got any new pin plans? Got any new stationary plans? Anything I should check out? I got new Masubi stuff on the way. We're gonna talk about all this, all the things. We might get to that new uh, Twisby uh, Slumberland Studio sent me that they then they removed from their their Twitch. A new um, really one-off crazy material um, Twisby that they're doing. Not sure what I think about that. There was another pilot capitalist I saw that orange, um, excuse me, uh, blue and green gradiated one. Yeah, the Draco Twisby. Um, when weather warms up, Stretch has something cool. Conquer and Dura Abalone. The more pictures of those I see, the more I like them. Changing inks for spring later today. I need to do that. Kick myself into gear. For thank you cards, that's always good. The Shone Ultim, yeah. I don't know if I'll get to that this week, but we'll probably do that like next week. But I will, you know I'll be into that. I need to review my Kasama still. That's probably like the fav one of my favorite pens I've bought in a long time. Getting a bunch of private reserve ink samples for testing, cool. Is there another cartridge in the barrel of the Kaveco? That's a very good question. I have been caught with that on stream, if y'all recall. There is a new spoke pen. Three of them, in fact. Did you see the new cross pins? I have not seen the cross pins. Inkwell Monster, I have a pin cleaning day. I was thinking that as I sat down. I have several pins here that I need to. Not really a pocket pen fan, but I had to get that blue Kaveco you reviewed. It's a great color. It is so good, so fun to use. I really, really like it. Quovatis dot grid notebook is great, except the non-standard sizing. What is it, A5-ish? I need to uninstall Teams from my phone. That's the commentary I'm here for. I need to uninstall Teams from my phone. That's what I need to do. That's the comments I'm here for. Waiting for the Axel S in purple. Okay, we'll work on that. Yeah, Slumberland Studio. I purchased the Deatrimentus light gray document and it's awful. I tried three pins, various nibs, and will not flow terrible ink. Serious. So, which one of those did I buy that was awful? One of the blue ones. I think it was the Deatrimentus one. Is one of the worst inks I've ever used. <laughs> Cross Wanderlust Collection. Does anyone have a link? Pop a link in the chat. I want to see that one. Do you have the new Kasama? I do not. I have last year's Ultim with the titanium grip section, so I don't know the full name of that. Um, but I bought it like last summer, last fall. But the new ones that I've seen on Instagram, I don't have. I don't have one of those. You got the Twisby Eco and was very disappointed. What makes you disappointed about it? Anything specific? Feel, look, writing performance? Like I get it. I'm just curious. <laughs> Someone makes two shapes now. Love to see a comparison. Yeah, I only have one. All right, let's look at this cross pin real quick. I'll put it up on the uh, monitor. Okay, so they've done something like this before with like uh, flowers, whatever the flower series is. These look great. Like I saw these in person last year. 
um, when they did, let's see if I can get this bigger. Oh, no. When they did, um, I don't know if it was like a secure one. It's scratching, it stops flowing after a while. You collect it. so it was a flower series. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So yeah, these look cool. I thought those that flower series looked really cool last year. Uh, details price, who does the nib? I don't know if sailor nibs come on these. Um, I don't know if they're up on the site yet. We'll see. We'll give Atlas Stationers free free plug here. Mm -mm -mm. So if you go into brands, Cross isn't even listed. So I'm not going to bother <laughs> going to hunt this down. There you go. Must be. We'll go with coming soon on that. So, Roy Yukasa, you can just look at, get the nib, get something, even magnifying glass. You can look at it closely. Just see if the, the tines are kind of misaligned like that. And you can push one side back and forth. You can even do it on a piece of paper, kind of tilt it one way or the other. What's a good desktop pin holder organizer? I mean, it depends on what you want. Do you want like bulk storage? Do you want like individual holes? Like you can get, like this is this Arodia pin cup for like it was like 16 bucks or something like that and it's killer but then you can get some different ones with like lots of different holes in there to to put pins in something like that but for just like a basic like cup style this has been one of my favorite purchases i've made in quite some time it's really cool looking all right give away the last thing and I'm gonna figure out if my head screwed on straight so I mean the other the other um, pin holder I have here is a dudeck so it's the three three pins notebook thing here so you have something like that that was my ticket from when I didn't win CWP's raffle but I like the ticket and this pin goes in here since so it's using it. So yeah, you can get like Dudek Modern Goods, something like that. So like if there's something specific you're looking for to hold 10 pins or whatever, like we can probably sort that out. So the Wanderlust Fountain Pins, $84. I'll, I'll pull this back up real quick. I just want to see if they have steel nib 84. I'm sure they're pretty good. That's a good price. I'd rather have that than a Parker 51 new one. Oh, I just said that out loud. Sir Jerk Face 7, what's the summit? Let's go. Yeah, I use random cups and all kinds of stuff. Plus the fancy stuff. We do have a Slack. Yeah, you just need to email me, hello at pinout.com, and I'll send you an invite to the Slack, and then we can, someone can walk you through getting the, um, getting the nib tuned up. It's, I will tell you this, it's gonna be easier than you think. So don't sweat it too much. Because I move between two desks, I just use my Burton and Brasstown. I, yeah, I mean, I, I just carry this all the time now. Johnny did like the new Parker. Evan likes the new Parker. Gentleman Joe likes the new Parker. But, like, they're, it's not perfect either. Like, they like it. It's kind of like the uh, Tibaldi Perfecta I've reviewed. Like, I like it. I enjoy using it. Do I want to recommend it? Two different questions, right? All right, let's give away this last pin. Not a Twisby. It's 
a moon man. And I don't know the model of it. Let's call it the Thenobi model. I don't know the name of this model. It's pretty cool. It's also, it's the C1, okay. The C1 stand for Sinobi. So, nice pen, Phonobi. I like the, the section color. It eyedroppers nicely. I bet it's pretty cool. Feels good. All right, Moon Man C1. Let's give this away. Whoops, let's put this back in here. <laughs> I like that one, Phil. All right. Let's see. All right, last thing, and then we're going to call it for today. A little short today, because I got... I'm still, like, running at, like, max speed. So maybe Thursday we can go a little bit longer. It's This one doesn't have a flat side. I kept feeling for it. Does it even have... This doesn't have a flat side. Oh, there it is. Crap. <laughs> it does have a flat side. It's very subtle. Yeah, it's there. But then it... it to me, it, it overcooks on the turn. So there's actually, it's like this at the thread, even though it lines up directly. It lines up how it should, but it overclocks on the thread. All right. All right, go. Then we got, let's see, so I'm going to do shipping and Staples Call, plan for the podcast tomorrow, big show tomorrow. I will cover the Habanero. That'll be at the top of our list. Mike actually got a box from me full of stuff. We'll have a bunch to talk about for that, including some pr long-awaited products that I've owed him. <laughs> um. So we're gonna. I know we're gonna want to talk about that because he was pinging me all day yesterday. I did send him a box. Is that a Newton copy? Yes. I mean, to me. Who paid the VAT? So in this case, I get to mark it as gift and put a low dollar denomination on it, right? Because it wasn't a purchase. So I can. Um, it, it probably doesn't get dinged like some of the stuff. So like um, he bought um, two spoke pens that will come off as like a retail purchase on the um, like the shipping forms, right? Since it was an actual purchase, like we don't modify shipping forms. We don't, we're not going to do that. So that one, We'll see what happens there. I dropped it off yesterday. That might get dinged. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. So here's the thing about that pen. Sean made the first one, but it's not his design. I agree completely. That's, that's why I don't get into like the copy knockoff thing too much, right? I can take it uh, on myself as like, you know, we were inspired. Like we didn't make the first pen case. <laughs> You know, it's like we make pin cases that look like other things probably, you know, whether we intend to or not. Like the Brass Town I'll, was inspired directly from a nomadic pin case, PE09, I think it was. So, you know, I'm not knocking them. I just, you know, that's why I don't, I don't worry about it too much, but I also don't like go all over it too much. All right. Person that won is... OSU, an homage, it's an homage, inspired by, yeah, you know what I have most of the problem with is like the timing of like releasing something that's new, someone does something new then it's immediately knocked off, it's like, 
that's when I get a little question. This, eh, hmm. Eh, hmm. The Rouge Noir one, like, that's ridiculous. OSU, you need to send me your, uh, you need to email me. Even though I know I know your address, you need to email me anyway. Because that's how I file this stuff for not shipping it anytime soon. <clears throat> Spoke pen shouldn't get dinged since the VAT was already paid at the time of purchase. Did I remiss? No, you didn't remember me saying that because I don't think we discussed it directly. Um, we may have been talking about the Kickstarter stuff. Kickstarter stuff ships as a gift, which was... Yeah, the problem I had is then they walked over to Sean in DC and showed it to him and said blatantly they used his as the model. Yeah, that's frustrating. That when that's a company's thought process behind the products that we make is when we have start to have issues right when your thought process is hey what does someone else do that's cool let me like get really close to making that thing in a pretty short time frame after they make the thing or when the things like very popular it's a gray area i know i try not to get overheated about it but I don't like that kind of stuff. I don't know. There's no discussion where it will end well. So I, whatever. <laughs> Bought the moon in F9 because I wanted a pin with a snake. If you're not solving a problem, you're not creating a product. Their argument would be is we don't, we're not trying to create a product, right? They're not creators or designers. Like that's right. Like they're, they're not going to think of it in the same way that you're thinking of it. Clearly they wouldn't have, you know, told that Sean. Hey, Brad, I just got my spoke. feels amazing. And the hand was wondering when the broad nibs likely come in. Probably looking about three weeks. We have gotten some confirmation on orders that they're actually moving. So feel pretty decent about that. Yeah, sometimes the problem is I just got to get paid. I don't like like second movers like like that has come too close. My hair is accentuated today. Yeah, I need a haircut is why. So it's like long and messy. Oof, I just poofed it up there. I don't know what's going on now. So, you know, it's it's always something to like look at a little bit deeper, like if you're not familiar with a brand, right? And get their story. But that's why I like doing this and like doing what we do with the blog and the podcast and the, the pens and the cases is because we can have like a two-way conversation about that and if a company's not willing to have that conversation is that a company that i want to support maybe but maybe i also have more questions so like it's a whole big thing you just and plus the more you do it the more you get a feel for what the products are what the stories behind the brands are what the feel is um about all that stuff so you know it's it's not black and white. So I, I will stick with it that it is a gray area just in what should I do? It's like, should I support this? Should I buy it? I mean, maybe so in some cases. Yeah, maybe not in other cases. So yeah, I've been on both sides when I got my hand slapped for that faceted Rushi pin that I did the lacquer on purely innocent with the intent. Yeah, but it didn't look good. I mean, yeah, you get it. Like I get it. Like Everyone always sends me rickshaw designs the minute they come out. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, we, I mean, he makes pen cases too. There's only like, there's pen designs. I mean, pen case designs that are pretty standard. So we need to do it differently. Different people behind the businesses. So, um, oh yeah, the, uh, I, I did Coco. We're going to talk about that on the podcast tomorrow. Definitely. As a matter of fact, CY sent me an advance note that say, hey, we're talking about this tonight, thinking about you. 
<laughs> so, uh, Tony, yeah, you're right. It's like, what do you, um, what is your reason for existing, right? When you do it, when you kind of try to do both ways. I don't know. You know what I need? I need the custom sailor, and then we'll do the hair flip on the, um, on the finial. Yeah, I don't think the Sinclair is anything like the uh, rickshaw koozie. It's some of the other stuff. But still, like, there's only a certain amount of ways to make, like, a three-slot nylon pin case or whatever. Have you talked about how the pepper is not a habanero? Yes. I like the plushy material that Rickshaw uses. Yeah, it's cool. I, I like the style of the Rickshaw. I think the colors and like putting things together are cool. Mark does a good job. Like Mark and I are on good terms, but it's just funny when things, it's like, hey, Brad, did you see this? I'm like, you don't need to show me all this thing, the same stuff. Like, I'm good. <laughs> Uh, Rick Shaw and Karen Dash, they're married. What would their baby's name be? <laughs> All right. We have uh, Harris Tweed. Yeah, there you go. That would be the, the baby's name. All right. We have Rick Dash. We're going to end it on that, folks. Good stream today. Thanks for hanging out. I needed... Uh, I needed a little respite from the week. Um, I told my wife last night, I was like, oh, this is the first night I've actually sat and have been like calm for a minute for about a week. So it's been busy. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the hanging out. Thanks for all the, uh, the spoke pins you ordered. Y'all are nuts. It's been very good. We have a lot to talk about on the podcast tomorrow. So that should be a fun one. Um, I barely even have to write any notes because it's just all going to come naturally tomorrow. And, um, if you have anything for me, though, uh, feel free to reach out. Hello at Pinac.com at Dowdyism on Twitter. I'll think about shipping health stuff maybe Wednesday. So we'll, we'll, we'll work on that and uh, we'll go from there. Otherwise, talk to y'all tomorrow. See you here on Thursday. And uh, have a good day. Bye. <laughs>